way they live, we are, the Lord is exposing them every day. Every time you put your TV on, it's something new. Like, you just be like, wow. You know, it's like, it's like a wow factor. And every time you have one thing that go on, you need an example. When they had the hurricane go through Puerto Rico, they was trying to figure out how much aid they gonna get in Puerto Rico. And that was a big thing. But then what did they do? They, just, they, they did a diversion from you even thinking about Puerto Rico with a shooting that happened in Las Vegas. Now everybody's mindset is on shooting. So white people get killed. Forget the black folks when they got killed all through the island. It's like, boom, forget them. Now they want you to feel sorry and be mad if you don't stand up for a flag. That's an the flag. They, hey man, they slick the way they do it, but the Lord is uncovered all that. He's gonna uncover all of it. He's getting ready, yeah, he's, he's, he, we see it. They at the end of their kingdom. He says, uh, he says, I would take vengeance and I would not meet thee as a man. So the Lord, when he came 2,000 years ago, he came looking like us, talking to the people, teaching them the knowledge he knew, teaching his disciples. He said he ain't gonna meet you next time like no man. He gonna be an angelic force when he come back. He gonna come back to everybody. And it's gonna be too late for everybody who was doing wrong and ain't repent. It's gonna be death, but vengeance is death. You know, hey man, we, people that run the church every week, they, 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 don't, they be believing the Bible all about love. Now, man, it's, 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 it's killings in this book. It's talking about vengeance is death.
that that when you see created from the dust, he created from that that uh, that pure dust from under the water. Because under the water at the sea base dust. of the sea dust, that's where you have all those minerals like phosphorus and magnesium and carbon. Which is what we need. Yeah, and that's part of our bodies. Because our body is made up of uh, hydrogen, which is there, it's oxygen, which is the water. And then carbon is there too because you have the volcanoes that come from under the water and then they produce that slush, that slush, that carbon, that element carbon is there, magnesium, phosphorus, all them is in our body. When you type in the composition of the body, so we came up out of, he made people, but you gotta remember it was, when he read the first chapter, it says, in the first chapter right here, Genesis 1 and 2, and the earth was without form and void and darkness, right? When he created the people, it wasn't no order. It wasn't no order back then. So what he did was, he was like, look, when he said this right here, he said this right here. In verse 26, and the power said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. What he was saying there, he wasn't saying let's create him our, to look like the, the image. Our, yeah, our image who in our, heaven. Our, yeah. Okay, that's what exactly. I'm saying. Exactly. He was talking about him, the sun, and the angels who were in heaven. He was saying we're gonna make him after our image, which was what? Order. They had order in heaven. It was it's a still taking order. So he was like, look, let's let's take these men and make them have he said, let, let them have order. So what he did was to them two, that man and that woman, he said he called their name Adam. He said, these are my chosen out of all them people. He chose them two to, to, to bring forth the kids. You, gotta, you know what it means? You know what it means? That means the elect. Because this is what that means, I'm going to show you. When they say chosen, that, that means uh, special people. It don't mean everybody. I'm going to show you what it means. It's Ephesians. I that's what he did. Because, look, you got like, even now, right? You got, you got people that are just so wicked to the point Is that, is that like a person of God or is we the one that's being humble and taking all this abuse? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And that's what God's people is at right now. We being on the low end. Because he told you, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this right here. I'm going to show you this right here. Uh, Ephesians. The book of Ephesians. Listen to this real close.
oneself, right? That's just like if you have a favorite of, uh, some people have their kids, right? They have a favorite kid, they have 10 kids, but it's one they like more than the rest. But they love them all, but it's one special one they like. That's what the Lord did with creating all the people on the planet. He created everybody. But then he was like, these right here are the special ones who I'm going to show my love and mercy to more than anybody. Right? He said that right. I got a problem with that one. Hey, well, hey, it's a scripture. I'm just saying, I, I mean, you know what? Uh, I don't know why I have a problem because the chosen is our people. Right. He could not have chose us and chose another nation. And we be. No, no, I was talking about when they said that they were saying that the Jews are the chosen people. You know who the Jews are? But they are. Oh, the they are. Oh, no, the ones that we see now, those, like those are us. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, they feel like they are just to catch me out. Oh, uh, I'm You talking about these people right here? Yeah. All right. Now these people right here, right? These people right here, they are what you call, they call themselves Jewish, right? So what they did was they went into our land, Israel, right? And said that they were the Jews. But when you look at that word ish, it's a suffix meaning pertaining to or trying to be like. The word Jew comes from the Bible, the word Judah. That was a tribe out of Israel, right? And that name came up, that, that short name, Jew, right? What's that right there? Jew, J-U. That came up when we was in the Babylonian captivity. It was the three tribes. It was the Benjamin, Levi, and Judah. We was in the Babylonian captivity on the Nebuchadnezzar now. And they knew they had the tribe of Judah along with these, but guess what? We stood side by side. They had no clue of who we were. We were all dark skinned. So guess what they named us? Them Jews. They all, we all three got that name put on us. And they followed us. In 1949, the Balfour Declaration, these Edomites went into Israel. They, they started saying that they were the chosen. So that's why everybody followed them. And you believe what they believe, right? And then when they put that image up, don't believe this is being the Lord. Yeah. That's for a political motive. That's to keep you in subjection. When you're in slavery, they got to keep that's you. That's what they did. That's what it is. That's what they did. That's where it all came from. Exactly. To and keep then, the slaves in line. Yep. They was like honoring me. It's like honoring the Lord. And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna they show you. That. Uh, this revelation, right? Revelations 2, 2 and 9. And this was our people back then. But we use this, we use this to explain those fake Jews. It says, I know thy works and poverty. Trip. Now I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So the Lord said, He know your works. He know your poverty. He know your tribulation you're going through, right? He said, But thou art rich. How are we rich? We have the scriptures. This is the way out. This is the way of supreme knowledge. We have this. We have the, the real understanding that everybody don't have. You can come up some. Yeah, I'm sure. Cameraman, just come up. Uh, that's why I didn't want to go there. Uh, we had a true understanding that everybody else don't have. See, we have that understanding of what the word is really saying. And it says, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Description. I mean, in plain, that's the prophecy. So we know that these are the fake, they Khazars. They come from the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia, Russia. They are Caucasians. Caucasian mean cave dwellers, because that's where they lived at, in the caves of, of Petra over there. Even in Israel, they lived in Petra. When we were in our, in our own homeland, Israel, the Edomites came from down, down in here. Petra was down at the bottom of Israel. See, Idumia, that's the Greek word saying uh, Edomite, which is a white man. Edom in the Bible means red. When you read the story of Esau and Jacob, yeah, that word Esau is Edom. He's the father of the Edomites. When you read right here in the, uh, let me show you. 
Genesis 36. Genesis 36 is 8. I think it is. Thus dwell Esau at Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in Mount Seir. So Esau, this Esau. And they are they are the Edomites. Those, those are, are, are not the Jews, man. The real Jews are the Negroes that are, came over here in the slave ships and who are scattered abroad. Now, my ancestors come from the Indian side. So I'm not a Negro, I'm a, I'll be a native. Do my father's father's father. A lot of us are Native American Indians. Because the native, original natives were dark, brown skinned. So you have people who have bread, mixed bread, what do you call it? Mingle. So yeah, you got you got uh, you got natives who some of them gonna look like uh, so-called white people. You have some so-called white people that are really uh, Negroes. And they trace their lineage back on their father's side. Oh, there was a See? guy on. Um, 